What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 here, back at you with another video. Uh, hope, uh, hope you guys miss me. I miss you guys. Been a long day. Been a good day, but a long day. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and as always, drop as many comments as you can down, down below. You guys, uh, today, or should I say tonight, it's about almost midnight. I just wanted to drop this. I've been trying, trying to get an opportunity to drop a video today. And everything has been kind of hard for me to do so. So, but uh, today, well, just want to, you know, touch on and everything. And I um, ain't going to be too long. It's like maybe five or six minutes. Um, you know, what's funny to me, uh, I'm, I'm a Christian. At least I try to be. I'm not a perfect man. But uh, I want to talk about the disrespect our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gets dealt by these crazy ass people down here on earth. I know most of my videos he's been about what's going on in the media, what's going on in the world, particularly with black and white, civil unrest, uh, how these officers is getting off and everything that's killing George Floyd, how Breonna Taylor, them officers getting off for killing her and everything. In other words, like I said before, kill a black man, kill a black woman, get off scot-free, come back with a promotion. Worst case scenario, just change your name and get back to work. I just want to throw that out there because that's what's going on. Of course, they're not going to put it out in the news. So they don't want everybody to know. But those officers that killed George Floyd, particularly the one that put his knee on his neck, he got off. They're not in jail. And all the charges was dropped. But I don't want to get too far off topic, though. <laughs> because, like I said, all these people that do this slowdown stuff that's racist and prejudice in this country, they'll get theirs. Karma, I don't care how long... It is karma. Karma won't get there. They won't get them. So, but what I want to talk about today, how our Lord, like I said, how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gets uh, disrespected. First and foremost, ain't I'm not calling nobody. I don't care, man, woman, animal. I ain't calling nobody master but Jesus. This ain't the damn 1930s. This ain't the damn uh, civil war, none of that. I ain't calling nobody master but Jesus, and I sure as hell ain't bowing down on my knees for nobody but Jesus. <laughs> what America has done and continue doing to this day, and I want to I want to quickly warn everybody. Excuse me, I'm a little bit tired, but I want to quickly warn everybody and everything. Some of you may not gonna like what I have to say, which most videos y'all don't, but I got to keep it real. If you don't want to hear it, don't watch it. I got to keep it real. They took God's word and they have perverted it. Perverted it very bad. And they've disrespected and everything. And I'm not sitting here telling you I'm some angel. I ain't never done nothing wrong or nothing like that. That's not at all what I'm saying to you. The stuff that I'm going to be speaking about today and everything I don't do. Okay? I don't do. But here we go. They have took God's word and everything. Like, for example, all this stuff, how these ignorant-ass scientists went around talking about how the world was made and all these old TV series about how the world was made and how mankind came about and everything. It's a bunch of bullshit, people. You start giving God and everything, Jesus. This ain't no religious. This ain't none of that crap and everything. You start giving God his respect. Now, I'll be honest with you and be real with you. Me and God, our relationship, person, everything, it's not where it should be, but it's gotten, it's progressively getting better. I'm going to be real with you and everything, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, good whether I'm happy with with God or having trouble trusting whatever the case may be, he's still my Lord and Savior, and I'm not deviating for that. And nobody getting that clout but him. Because he died on our own on Calvary and everything for all our sins. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did. And he did, in my opinion, everything, how America treat him and how America do and everything. They, they treat Jesus and God like everything like they ain't, ain't worth nothing. There's no excuse for it. They pervert stuff and everything. You got kids and everything. They don't know if they want to be a boy or a girl, transgenders and all that and everything. This shit is wrong. It says it right there in God's word. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And I say it again, I'm going to offend some people on here, but damn it, just about every video I do offend somebody, but I'm going to keep it real with you. 
I can't sit up here and lie to you. All this stuff that go on in this world and everything, same-sex marriages and everything, homosexuality, lesbian, everything, it is wrong. It is dead wrong. And if you don't change and everything, you're going to go to hell. It ain't right. And I'm let me also say something here to all my people who struggle with that. And I don't want to be the insensitive. Well, I don't want to be insensitive to the fact there are, there are people who have been raped who was turned that way, and everything by the by a mother, or dad, or uncle, and everything. I'm not a this the message. I'm not directing at you. I'm talking about the people who know better and choose and wasn't having to go through that dark uh, storm and everything by being raped or molested or whatever the case may be. I'm talking about the people who just choose. To straight up just choose to be all uh, gay and everything. What the hell can another man do for you? Please explain to me. Now, I ain't going to sit here and BS you. I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. I may not be the finest damn nigga in the world. I may not make the girls scream when I walk by. But I tell you one thing. If you ever catch me out there, you better believe I'm with a woman. I'm, I'm sorry and everything. I don't understand why America feel it's okay. Uh, there go again. Everything that God stands for in this world, in this word, I mean, and everything, America takes it and twists it. They deceive and everything, and they lie on God's word and everything. These old ignorant ass false prophets, and you lying ass pastors and everything. You keep telling people it's right to do this, it's right to do that, and everything. And you know damn well it ain't right because you don't want to lose member, lose members, and you don't want to lose money. Ain't nothing but a uh, way to keep your all profits going. You want to answer to God for it and everything. You got to answer to God for it. See, I'm, I'm not no, I'm not a pastor. Your ass is. You don't want to sit in the pulpit and everything talking about I love the Lord. He heard my cry. That next thing you know, you're out here screwing another damn woman that ain't your wife. Get this shit together, man. How you going to tell me to uh, turn my life around, stop drinking, smoking, partying, and everything? You act worse than me. That's the problem with church people and everything. They're so damn uppity and everything. They're like they've been saved all their life and everything. Everybody's an ex-something. I don't give a damn. They get these degrees, get these big church and this big money. And they think, oh, they they the shit. I got news for you. For everybody who listens to me out there who may not know God, you know, know Jesus as your Lord and Savior and everything, go talk to Jesus. Let him be your Lord and Savior. Like I'm, like I'm keeping it real with you and everything. My relationship and everything have, you know, always been rocky and everything in terms of looking at God as that father, which I know he is. But if, because I have a situation going the way I grew up, why it affects the view of God. But as far as God flat out, he is the head of my life and everything. And he deserves respect to what he's getting. You got people who don't try to treat people right. These are damn pastors and everything. And Lord knows these pastors. God put you, if God called you to be a pastor and everything, he didn't call, he called you to lead people to him. He called you to be a tool to help people change from their ways and get over there to God's side where they, you know where the light is at, where they can get redeemed for their sins and Jesus can come in and heal them, bless them and comfort them and everything. He didn't call you and everything to uh, get people in your church and everything just to make a pack of uh, a pile full of money. He didn't call you to have auctions in the church and everything. If you got a hundred dollars, step over here. You got a thousand dollars, step over here. That's bullshit. Now, that's not no damn church. And you get so many people who are not in church, who don't believe in God and everything. What ends up happening? They coming in. They may be a hooker coming in, trying to get themselves right with God. And here you got. Uh, Sister Betty over here, uh, Brother Johnson over here looking down on him like they ain't shit. Who are you to look down on somebody, man? Huh, Sister Betty, Sister Johnson, who are you to look down on somebody? Oh, I don't think she should be singing in the choir and everything. She had a baby out of wear. Like, nigga, you ain't God. How would you feel God exposed your lying ass? How would you feel? One thing I will say, God got dirt on everybody down here, including me. And what I mean by that is he can pull some shit up out of the out of the closet on you and everything and can bring it to the light and have everybody looking at you a different way. So don't give me this I'm holier than thou because I got a degree. I got baptized last week and everything. You still screwing the damn usher behind everybody's back. No, no, don't give me that. If you're going to be real and everything, be real. Be honest and everything. Don't come in with this phony shit and everything. Oh, I'm heavily degreed. I wrote a book and everything. 
That ain't how it is supposed to be ran. One big reason why Sad will never step foot back in the church again, or as of right now, and everything's I don't know the future. But one big reason why I said one step foot back in the church, you got these pastors, everything, the only thing they want is money. They want is money. That's all they want. They want a bunch of money. And then you ask them to help and everything, or I'll be praying for you. You ask them, hey, sir, uh, pastor and everything, I've been a member of your church three, four years and everything. Can you uh, help me, me and family, um, we low on food. Oh, we need a gas bill paid. Our lights finna be shut off. Our rent, we finna be put out and everything. And these jackasses tell you and everything, Oh, I'll be praying for you. What kind of stuff is that? I've been paying my tithes. I've been a faithful man. I'm on ministry and everything. And that's all you can tell me? And then you wonder why people drop, why so many people don't tithe? Yes, God does say something about tithe. Yes, he does in Malachi and everything. But these ignorant-ass pastors, what they do, they take it and they twist it in a way for them to get profit. And then when you come back as a member of their church to see if you can get some help and everything, they give you the cold shoulder. I didn't know pastor's job was to uh, get rich or die trying. Hell, that's the gangster memo for the uh, rapper 50 Cent. There, there's no excuse for it, people. Get your shit together. Y'all done took God's word and perverted it. A man should not be with another man, and a woman should not be with another woman. And not only that, it, it tells you in the Bible, honor thy mother, honor thy father. In my case, I didn't have my father. But I had a hell of a dad and everything uh, who I call Pop, who step in and uh, uh, been the dad and everything that I wanted, that I, that I needed and everything. I ain't gonna lie to you, me and him bump heads when we first, you know, when I was younger and everything. But as I got older, I understood why he did and said the things. So that's why he had my respect to this day. But all this other stuff, you guys, and everything that go on, uh, it should not be. Not in God's house. You got pastors cussing in God's house, pastors sleeping with people in God's house. And then you wonder why people don't want to come to church. Hi, if I'm a damn crackhead, I'm all out of my head and everything. Why would I want to come to church if you're doing all that shit? Hell, I can stay doing what I'm doing. I mean, just keeping it real. There's no reason for it, people. Stop disrespecting Jesus. Yes, we fall short. Yes, we sin, myself included. Hell, I ain't no angel. But to sit there and and preach to people or don't say nothing to people as you should and everything that you know doing wrong, you God gonna hold you accountable for that, man. And all these people looking down on people coming in, these church people and everything. Church people are some of the most uppity ass and uh, double crossing ass people I've ever met. Been in church and raised in church all my life. It's only one pastor who I know and everything from the churches I've been to and everything that has truly and I do mean truly have been a pastor. He's no longer here. And I would not mention his name. There's no excuse for this, y'all. Give God his respect. Give God his glory. No, it wasn't luck. It was because of God you got home and that car didn't kill you. It was because of God you ain't get caught that night with them drugs by them police. It's because of God you ain't get shot to death. Shot to death, excuse me. And everything when you should have been. It's because of God you got out of jail and everything when you should have been locked up. Give the man his glory. Give the man his glory. I don't want to hear this religious shit. Oh, I want to hear I'm religion. I'm this and everything. Hell with all that shit. You're going to find out when he's sitting high, when he come back here. You're going to learn your ass then. You're going to find out who, who really is the boss. And his name is uh, Jesus Christ. And ain't nobody down here. I ain't worshiping up. Ain't nobody down here. If you ain't God, if you ain't Jesus, go straight to hell. I ain't worshiping you. I ain't giving you no clout. Sure as hell ain't finna bow for you. All these idol guys, people worshiping up in and doing all this stuff, witchcraft and all this Luigi boys and tarot cards and everything. You be psychics and everything. How the hell you a damn psychic? Only one knows the beginning and the end is the man who created his name is God. You don't know shit. Oh, I'm reading. I can see in your future you're going to be married with three kids. Stay off the drugs, nigga. Stay off the damn drugs. I'm up here giving your ass for a hundred, two hundred dollars for you to sit here and bullshit me. Stay off the damn drugs. Next thing. Something else I don't understand. You get people and everything who tell people not to fear God. Who tell people that, okay, Brandon, that's your religion. Okay, if that's no, that's what you believe and everything. 
I'm going to give it to you straight like I always do. Take a good look and everything. Like I said, I know I ain't the old Lord, uh, most uh, best looking dude in the world and everything, but take a good look in my eyes, okay? I'm, I'm going to tell you this without, I'm going to try to tell you this without blinking. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your ass going to hell. If you do not repent of your sins, your ass going to hell. If you worship other gods other than the real God, his name is Jesus, your ass going to hell. If you keep sleeping with the same sex, if you keep doing stuff wrong, robbing and killing people, kids disobeying parents, Parents leaving kids and abandoning kids and everything. Policemen killing people uh, and they shouldn't be doing it and getting away with everything. You are going to answer to God. And if he don't approve, bye-bye. Your ass going to hell. He's the only one that can put you in heaven. He's the only one that can put you in hell. All this stuff they run around here talking about Jesus was white. These pictures, these old ignorant ass America painting this picture that Jesus was white and everything. If you look at the geographic of where Jesus was born and everything, it wasn't white. I got news for you, it wasn't white. That's America as usually doing that. Look it up. If you don't think I'm, I think I'm bullshit, you look it up. Give Jesus and give God their respect. They gave us a Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. That's what it is. You read my word and everything, excuse me, you read my word and everything, and therefore, it will guide you to get back to God. God sent us all down here for a purpose. Not to deceive people, not to lie to people, not to be racist, not to do any of that. He came, he brought us down here and everything, because first of all, we're God's property. We're not the scientist's property. We're not uh, any other religion property. Okay, this ain't religion. I'm talking to you as facts. If you think God is not real, if you think God's a puppet in the sky, or he's a fig figment of your imagination, everything, well, your dumb ass gonna learn something on Judgment Day. When you stand in front of the great white throne, you see a, a large man stand in front of you, and he gonna say, step forward. And if your ass ain't in that book of life, you think you had a bad day down here, go ahead and deal with hell. <laughs> I be damned I'm doing that. I better do enough shit down here. I ain't trying to go. Now, personally, I do like heat, but the hell heat is too damn hot. I think they said it's 77 times hotter than anything else on earth. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm good. So, you guys, in close and everything, this ain't no religion talking to you. I'm not a pastor. I'm not I'm not an evangelist. I'm not any of that, any of that shit. I'm just giving a strong black man just giving you what's real like I always do on my channel. Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. He's the only one. The only one. He tell you the reason why I'm still alive. He the reason why I ain't in jail. Because I tell you, if it wasn't for Jesus and my parents, uh, my mom and my mom and pop uh, raised me and everything, I know four, five damn people I would have shot and killed. Because they did this, they wrong and how low down stuff and everything. But they helped me keep this together, the mind together. Anybody know me know I'm respectful and everything, but I have a short uh, fuse and I don't got time for pay. I don't have patience. You respect people, but you give start giving God his respect. God is not the man upstairs. His name is Jehovah Rapha. Read your word, people. Don't listen to these ass nine pastors and these people who are trying to get money from you. You holler at God and everything. Go see him for yourself. If you, I'm going to say this and everything, I'm going to be done. Anybody who really, really want to get saved. And like I said, I'm not the A. I don't get an A for being a Christian and everything, but I have to keep it real with you. At the end of the day, you accept Jesus your Lord and Savior. You believe in your heart that he died for all. Uh, he died for your sins and everything. And you will. And you believe that he's saved and everything. You will be saved from this mess down here on earth. We've all been through enough hell. Everybody down here got a story. We do, you don't need to go somewhere worse because it is life after death. You don't believe it. Oh, he's high. He's drunk. He's crazy talking. He don't know what he's talking about. Die then. <laughs> Just go ahead and die. Let me know when you stand face to face with Jesus. The real, the real McCoy. The real deal. Let me know when you stand face to face with him. Let me know. Because what he went through on Calvary, the whippings he took, 
the uh, the nails in his hand, the sword in his side. That ain't religion, people. That was a man who took who took a charge for all of us, and he ain't do nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. He said, "God, oh, excuse me." He said, "Father, I take the hit. I take the blame. I take the shame. If you let." Uh, Brandon and everybody else down here get a chance to go to heaven. We owe him this respect. Like I tell you, I'm being real with you and everything. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm being, I'm being real with you. But he is the real McCoy. And he is our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Give the man his respect. America, shame on you. All these lies... You know, these old false gods and all this stuff that y'all putting out here and everything, shame on you. God going to deal with your ass. Don't worry, don't worry about me. I'm not God. God going to deal with you. If you ain't worshiping Jesus, you're worshiping the devil. It's for Reddit 19. Not a religion. Not a religious. It's the real deal. For Reddit 19, catch y'all in the next video. Thank you.